In the previous video, we were discussing about the Angular services where we are imp implementing new component that is student details component. We have created respective student list component and we have created service for it. Now it's time to write a HTML content that is the display content which we want to display on our web page. So if you just recap whatever we are written here, if you observe what we have done, we have registered this service with Angular dependency injection system. Okay, by providing providers array. Okay, inside this we have registered student list service. Then we have introduced a private variable of type student list service and passed as a parameter for the constructor. Constructor will be called when instance of this class is created. Right. Then dependency injection system using constructor to inject student service to student list component. And calling this service by using the variable that is this dot students equals this dot student list service dot get students. This will invoke the get students method which we have declared inside our student list service. Now next what we will do is we have taken the variable students all the values required for the student details to be appeared. So using this property what we will do we will use this property inside our HTML and let us display in the form of a table. Okay, student list dot component dot html. Okay, let us write a table which displays student details. Okay, t head and inside this tr, let us write th that is table header with id. Okay, then what else we need? Header with name. Okay. Then another header we want for gender, another header for date of birth. Okay. These are the headers which we need. And inside our table body, T body, table row. So inside this table row, what I am going to do is I am going to use ng for structural directive that is similar to for loop for getting all the student details okay by using let a variable whatever we want we can declare a variable here of from where where we want to get all the student details from students using this property we can get all the student details because we are getting all this uh, student details from this uh, interface right we have written service for it values we have initialized here and student list dot ts is the interface which we are declaring as a skeleton what are the fields which we want to display okay that all those we are iterating using ng for structural directive by using this variable student is a variable and from students we are taking all those fields and we want to display the content by using td td by using double curly brace, we use this variable student dot id. This will get id values. Then td similarly student dot name. Okay, double curly brace. Then we want what else we need? Student dot name, student dot id. Then student dot gender student dot gender okay and date of birth we want to display all this in the form of a table inside the student student table we want to display all the student details gender we have used then date of birth okay now our table is also ready okay our table is also ready now here slash I need to put tr okay I am ending this tr here sorry not here this is a single row which I want to display all this content okay now we have written the table to display student details so next what we need to do after this whatever we are writing student list component that is student list component dot ts 
the selector which we are passing here app hyphen student list this should be passed as a directive which will uh, which will render this html at runtime this html i want to display at runtime and this child component which we have declared here the selector we need to pass as a directive for app component dot html right if we are passing this only the values or the whatever the data which we have written the html content here will get displayed on our web page so we need to write as a directive for this selector using this selector app hyphen student list we need to mention inside our app dot component dot html so let's do that next okay let's write some heading here that is student details using angular services okay this is heading which i want to display and the data from where we need to get we need to get from student list component dot html and from where this student this list dot component dot html will be displayed using this selector using this selector as a directive for app component dot html we can get all the data which we are writing here the html content okay so let's do that app hyphen we should pass same name which we are passing as a selector here app hyphen student list app hyphen student list okay this is the directive which we are passing now we have the html content which we want to display that is a table we have created with id name gender and date of birth these values we are passing from the service we are calling this service insert student list component dot ts dot get students get students method will get all the values which we are passing here right the here we have hard coded all the values in the future videos what we will do is we will get these values from dv right let we will do that later for now what we need to do we are displaying the html content but i want to display with some styling so what we will do let's do some styling inside our student list dot component dot css so student list dot component dot css let's write some styling content here for table i want to display color purple okay then font hyphen family i want to display text in the form of arial helvetica sans serif okay then font size font says i want to display large and border hyphen collapse i want to pass collapse value for this next for the table data td for td let's create some border for this 1 pixel solid black i want to create border okay and i want to have some padding that is spacing between the fields i want to have padding of 4 pixel right then for header table header th i want to have border 1 pixel solid black okay and padding i want to have 8 pixels okay now we have created all the required files which we want to display on our web page right let's run the command npm space start it's getting compiled it's building it's compiled successfully now if you observe the web page you can see the student details are getting displayed this is the heading and this is the heading which i have declared inside app component dot html and these table values student values are getting displayed using angular services using angular services we are passing this values we are calling this service under our student list component dot ts by registering that service let's recap once from beginning whatever we have done okay initially what we did we have created a new component student list component student list dot ts contains this is the interface file which contains the skeleton for 
our student details. What are the student details fields I want to display? I have declared here with the data type. Okay. Then we are writing service. We are writing this service by using by running the command ng g space s space the name of the service that is student list. This will generate student list service for us. And here what we are doing? We are writing a method get students method which is implementing i student interface i student interface and we are using these fields as a skeleton and we are initializing these values for it right we are passing all these values for the all these fields student objects as an array okay and this array we are going to get from inside our student list component we we are registering we are calling student list service here using dependency injection system right that's what we are doing here registering this service with angular dependency injection system we are introducing private variable of type student list service and pass as a parameter for this constructor so whenever an instance of this class is created this constructor will be called and dependency injection using constructor to inject student service to student list component that we are doing here Okay, and we are calling, we are invoking this get students method from the service which we have declared here. This method we are invo invoking inside our component. So this is the service part. Now the view part. App dot component dot HTML. We are defining the directive. We are passing this directive from student list component dot es. That is a selector. This selector will be rendered at runtime. Okay, that selector we are passing this a directive here. Then student list dot component dot html. We are using ng for structural directive to iterate through all these student details and we are displaying in the form of a table here using this id, name, gender, and date of birth. Okay. And we are styling these components, whatever we have declared the html, whatever the table, table header, table data which we have declared here. For that, we are performing styling using student list dot component dot css. And finally, we are running this by using npm space start. We can see this output on our web page. The student details are getting displayed using this Angular services. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. Please like, comment and share this video. And kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos. If you get any doubts anywhere while, while writing the code, you can clearly comment so that I can resolve the problems which we are facing. Okay, It can be any silly problem like if you are unable to create angular project or if you are unable to do anything just comment so that I can easily reach, you, reach out to you. You can even use my Facebook web page or you can contact me through the WhatsApp group which I mentioned in the description. Okay, You can join that WhatsApp group so that we can discuss about this. And please do watch both the parts of this video to understand clearly about angular services. Thank you.